Shalawamakiam, Wagwathiam, let's fucking go! Woo! Kahalayam, Wahata Pa'avat, La, Abenawi Yahawa, Bahashem Shell, Malaki Hawashai, Bahashem, Shalha, Wakakwadash, Lyra Lam Yam, Wa Adayam. All praises and the glory to our Father Yahweh, in the name of King Yahweh Shai, in the name of the Holy Spirit forever and always. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone Ivory Well. Much love to all you brothers out on the highways and byways, out on the front lines of this spiritual war, helping seal the 144,000. Ha Bayath Shao Dawada, the house of David, and we pray to be part of that number, Yahweh is our Lord willing. Much love to the helpers and friends of the prophets of the men and women that are going to be part of the 144,000 in the one-third. And much love to all the one-third Israelites scattered all around the earth that are scattered amongst the heathen nations and even look just like these other heathen nations where they have been scattered too and don't have the typical Israelite appearance, but they still go back to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, the holy, royal, chosen seed line, who the kingdom of heaven, salvation, the covenants, promises, blessings, and everlasting life is only for. And much love to the one-third women and children that are going to receive salvation through a man of the Lord. And this video is titled, this is going to be a freestyle video off the top of my head. This video is titled, Yahweh Why Yahweh Shai is fucking amazing. Woo, let's fucking go. This is one of the best testimonies that I have yet. Yes, yeah, so as you brothers know, not only here in America, here in Babylon, but scattered all throughout the earth, this coronavirus is wreaking havoc upon this place because the plagues are intensifying. And where a lot of you Akim and Akwathium live, a lot of you are on lockdown right now. I believe um, New York is on lockdown, California is on lockdown, and a whole bunch of other states and countries. And here where I am in Massachusetts, we're also going on lockdown. So I was in the hotel last night. I was in my room. It was like 10 o'clock at nighttime. And the cool Elamite that was letting me go in the storage room a few months back, he called me and told me that we might be going on lockdown and that everyone is going to have to leave the hotel and that all non-essential businesses will be closing down. So I was like, oh, okay, thank you for the heads up. I really appreciate it. Yeah, so this morning I wake up, it's 9 o'clock, and this Elamite woman that also works at the hotel, she told me that they for sure are going on lockdown and that I got to be up by 11 a.m. I'm like, ah, oh, damn. I'm like, right, I, I just dealt with it. I'm like, I'm not going to bug out. I'm just going to trust in Yahweh Hashem Yahshai. And I know I'm going to be somewhere. Yahweh Hashem Yahshai delivered me out of homelessness before and put a roof over my head so I know that he's going to do it again this time. So I begin packing up all my stuff. I'm just jamming the music, getting all my stuff. I'm packing up. I'm like, damn, what should I pack first? So I started packing up my highlighters for my Bible. Started wrapping up all my course. Started folding up my clothes, putting them away. Cleaning up a little bit. And packing up my suitcase. And then after I was done packing, I'm like, damn, am I really going through this again? I'm like, well, how about Shim and Shai delivered me before? And I've been praying for all this stuff. And maybe this is how I was going to answer my prayer. Maybe this situation got to happen in order for my blessing to come. So I just went along with it, like how that saying goes. Instead of worrying about what can go wrong, be excited for what can go right. Yeah, so I was just going with the flow. And then I took my shower. And then by the time I was done with everything, because cause I, I, I've been in the hotel room for like over 90 days now. It, it's been like three months. So I, I, I bought a lot of stuff because I got a little bit comfortable. And I had so much stuff that I had to leave some of my stuff behind, like some apple cider vinegar, some, um, what do you call it? I had some um, Himalayan pink salt. And I'm like, that's the stuff I could easily replace. I'm like, at least I have my clothes and my umbrella and my laptop and all the expensive stuff and stuff I really need. So I'm like, it's only a little lost. I can easily replace that stuff. I add some, um, some ginger powder that I would put in my tea and mix with honey. It's very good for cleansing out your system and all that. Just little stuff. So I pack up. I'm like, damn. So I, I grabbed the luggage cart. I loaded up both my suitcases. I had my three jugs of water. I had my book bag and I had my jacket and all that. So I, I give my card back down to the woman in the lobby. I checked out. So I'm outside for 30 minutes. I, I spoke to two Akiam. I'm like, yo, Akiam, I'm homeless again. I don't know where I'm going to go. But I know that how by Shemesh I got me. And I'm just going to go with the flow. And I know that something good got to come out of this. Yes, yeah, so I was just chilling, jamming the music, just taking it easy. Just being calm. I don't curse y'all by Hashem Shai, nothing. I kept the faith. Because this is a situation I've been through before, so I know that something good was going to come out of it. And I seen another ill quote. It was like, God delivered you before, and he's going to do it again. Yeah, so guess what? 
Remember how I told you there was two cool Elamites that was sneaking me into the storage room? And I would sneak back out in the morning before the boss came? Well, guess what? This, um, about 30 minutes after being outside, the, this other cool Elamite hit me up. And he hit me up. He was like, hey. He was like, you can go back in the hotel. He was like, since you've been there for so long, you're considered a permanent guest. He was like, everybody else has to leave, but you can go check back in. I was like, the wadi how about shim your shot? I was like, yes. I was, yo, you have no idea how fucking relieved I was. I was so happy because it, it, it's supposed to rain tomorrow too and the day after and it's real gloomy today. So I'm like, damn, I'm going to be on the rain with nowhere to go. And I, I slept outside before. I'm like, if I got to sleep outside again, I'm, I'm going to just do it. It's not the worst thing in the world. It's not as, it's not as pleasant as being in a bed, but if I got to do it, I'll do it. Because bad situations are only temporary. So guess what? I got to go back in the room, right? And the hotel room that I'm in has a kitchen attached to it. And there's only one other room like that, like my room, in the whole entire hotel. So I'm like, damn, I can check back in. But I was like, I hope I can get my room again. And guess what? And my room, because I, I, I don't like when the, um, I don't like when the um, housekeepers come in my room. I like my privacy. So I put a sign on my door that says, do not disturb. So my room hasn't been swept in forever. And mop it, and it needed a good mop and a sweep in. And I needed new bedding and everything. So guess what? While I checked back in, the woman had a smile on her face. Because she knew that I was happy that I got to go back. Because um, she knew my situation. Because that's the only place I can really go right now. So she was like, oh, your room's clean. She was like, your room will be ready in five minutes. She was like, do you want to check back in that same room? I was like, oh, yes, I would love that. So guess what? I get to go back in a fresh room, the same exact room I like, freshly mopped and sweeped. I got new towels, got new pillowcases, new bedding, new everything. And, I, and now I'm back in the room, nice and safe, and everything worked out. All because I had faith, all because I trusted in Yahweh Hashem Yashai. So guess what? I passed that test. Yo, I, I, I was so fucking relieved. Yo, and guess what? And then I went to go tell uh, one of the Akim that I spoke to to pray for me the good news. When I went to go text him and when I swiped my phone to unlock it, guess what time it was? It was 11.44. And then after I hit the brother back up, I went back up in the hotel room, prayed to you by Shem Yoshai, and I'm like, yo, I got to do a video on this. And I wasn't sure if I should have brought my umbrella or not because it's real gloomy to where it looks like it's going to rain. So I went to go check if it was going to rain, but it says that's only going to be just a little bit cold, but it's not going to rain. And guess what the temperature for my area is today? 44 degrees. Is that the spirit of what? So y'all see how Yahweh Ba'ashem is with us? So that's why when things look uncertain, there's no reason to bug out because... You may be anxious, but just because you're anxious, does that mean that something bad is going to happen? How many times have you been uncertain and you've been anxious just for everything to work out? And then when it works out, you're like, oh, shit, I was bugging off for nothing. Everything worked out, and I had nothing to even be afraid about. See? Like how that saying goes, sometimes we got to take that first step, even if we don't see the entire staircase. So guess what? Now I'm back in the hotel, nice and comfortable, same exact room and everything. Yo, so that ain't no coincidence. This is one of my best testimonies yet. I'm like, oh, shit. Yep, so now I get to stay there because I've been at the hotel for so long. Yeah, I I've been in the room. I, I haven't had to be in that storage room for over three months now. So things have been steadily getting better. Things are getting better for us. We're getting that spiritual power. We're getting that glow. All of us got food and water. We're going to be good. I know some of you are like, why am I out of work right now? But you don't got to worry about that. You should be happy you don't got to work because this, guess what? Before you were getting... Uh, money f to get your food and everything but guess what now this is where the miracles are going to come in because now money's becoming obsolete so guess what now we're going to have angels bringing us food now we're going to have birds bringing us food now we're going to have spiritual power to supernaturally create food so we don't got to bug out or worry about nothing and guess what in this situation even if i had money it wouldn't have done nothing because every place is closing down and i wouldn't be able to go nowhere else but guess what? I was able to go back in. Yo, that was the best news I ever heard. And you want to hear something crazy? Um, one, of the, one of those cool Elamites, he started being an asshole to me a few months back. Out of nowhere. Because like how that saying goes, when Satan can't get to you, he'll go through other people to get to you. He started being an asshole, giving me attitude, talking shit to me. And like a few weeks ago, 
he charged my cut for another night without my permission, and I wanted to cuss him out, but I'm like, you know what, let me just play it smart, because I was going to get another night anyways, but I don't like how he just charged my cut, because I'm like, because I'm like, what if I didn't have enough money on my cut at the moment, and he went to go charge my card, and then I have a over a overdraft fee and a negative balance, but since I had the money, I'm like, no, I'm like, you know what? I'm I'm gonna just be smart and be wise as a serpent and, and Hamas as a dove, and I, I'm not, I'm just gonna leave it. And guess what? That same Elamite texted me, letting me know that I can go back in the hotel. So you see how it all worked out in the end. If I would have cussed him out and put him in check, he probably wouldn't have hit me up like that instead of that I could go back in the hotel. So being nice and humble really pays off. Like and and that's why one of my favorite scriptures in Proverbs it says that a soft answer turneth away wrath. Yep, so it all worked out in the end, and he acts cool now. It was probably just a demon. Not that it makes it right. Yeah, but those two cool Elamites, yo, th they hooked my ass up. They gave me food. They snuck me in and out the storage room, risked their jobs for me. I'm like, I'm like, I, like, I, oh my gosh. Like, I, I'm really speechless. I'm really speechless. I'm like, yo, like all the amazing things that have been happening to me, like, I, I, I can't even, I'm like, damn. I'm like, I, I ain't even worthy of this. For real, like, how about Shemi has been doing so many great things for us? And guess what's going to continue getting better and better? And notice how all you Akim and Akwatham, you got plenty of food, you got water, you got paper towels, you got toilet paper, you got soap, you got clothes, you got batteries, you got candles, you got flashlights, you have everything you need, etc. for your survival. Yeah, so you don't got to worry about working nothing. These two-thirds devils and heathens, let them be the ones to bug out because they don't have faith. But you have a buy Shemi Shai, he sees that, he's serving us. Watch, I, 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 I fucking bet you. Watch, y'all gonna wake up one morning, you're gonna be like, damn, what's, the, what's that sweet, savory smell I smell filling up the entire house? And then you're gonna go in the kitchen, you're gonna see freshly baked manna and bread and biscuits and food all on your table that that's been given to you by angels. Yo, we're gonna have some amazing miracles happening for us. Yo, we're gonna have some auto, like, we're gonna have some out, like, out of this world experiences and out of this world miracles happening for us. That's why we cannot put your Howard Bosch Shemyo Shine a box. Like I told y'all on my channel, on, 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 on uh, my other, like um, I'm doing this on a new channel, but it's going to be put on Wrath of Heaven and um, my other channel, Angel of Death. Both those channels have strikes right now, but once those strikes go away, I'm going to put this video up. And I know y'all seen my other video when I told y'all I met that woman and I found out she was a porn star for my other woman and, that, and both those women didn't even know each other. Which, and I, and I, you know, it's crazy. And I'm, I'm like, how the hell did she find out? And I asked her too. I was like, how'd you find out that I was talking to that woman? And she said that, oh, I took a picture and I put it on a Google thing to where it matches up other pictures on websites. And that's how I found her. And, and but that still doesn't, doesn't explain how did she get her picture in the first place and knew that I was talking to her. Guess what? The, the short answer is that's the power of the Lord. Yahweh by Shemesh, saved me from a demon. And that's the thing, even, even another brother was saying that too, because the answer she gave me really didn't make sense, but guess what? Yahweh, why Yahweh Shai don't want it to make sense, because if it made sense, it wouldn't require faith. But since, it don't, but since she didn't really say it like completely and gave me a vague answer, the only answer is to go by faith, and the short answer is that was the power of Yahweh, why Yahweh Shai. And that's how we're going to get delivered time and time again. Like, you want to hear a crazy story, and I've always wanted to share this with you, Akiem. I was watching this video where there was a flash flood in some place, right? I can't remember where the flash flood was happening. But the water had to be like seven feet high in the streets. Everything covered. Cars were covered. The water was like a quarter way up to light poles and everything. Like, if, if you were to go in there, like, you would be certain to drown. And some woman had an SUV, and she thought that she could drive her car through it. But then she got trapped in it. And there happened to be a helicopter overhead, and they were going to rescue her, right? And you got to remember, her whole entire car was submerged in water. And the type of SUV, the, the type of SUV she had was electrical powered. She had the power windows. So she could have rolled the windows down manually, like those old school cars. But since the electricity was out in the car because it was submerged in water, she, she couldn't open the sunroof, she couldn't open her windows, and not only that, is that there was so much water pressure on the car doors, she couldn't even open the door anyways or kick the windows out. So they were trying to rescue her, right, and she was stuck in the car, and then guess what? 
she just popped up out of the car like 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 supernaturally and she came out of the water like like you ever see how when you put bread in the toaster and it pops up once it's done she popped up just like that and then once the water finally submerged several hours later after they saved her they savaged her car got it back and guess what when they got the car back the doors weren't open the windows were closed and the sunroof was closed so people like how'd she get out the car guess what an angel did it that was an angel so we got angels on us that's why the scriptures say in Psalms 34, it says the angel encampeth around them that fear Yahweh while Yahweh shy. And there was this other story too, where I think there was this woman getting crushed by a car. And the woman said that two black men saved her. And then when the ambulance came to assess like her injuries, she said they disappeared. Guess what? Those were angels. The scriptures describe the angel that slack you. The scriptures describe the angels as so-called black men. Yeah, so we got miracles being done for us. We don't got nothing to worry about. Yo, it's so beautiful walking throughout this city that I'm in, seeing every place closed down. It's all quiet. And this is a and this is a preview to the kingdom. Because when the kingdom first comes, it says in Second Ezra how the whole entire uh, I mean, yeah, it says that in Second Ezra and in um Isaiah, how when the kingdom comes, the whole entire earth is gonna be quiet. All you're gonna hear is all you're gonna hear is the wind blowing. All you're gonna hear is birds tripping. That's all you're gonna hear is animal sounds in nature. We're not gonna hear no more tow truck. We're not gonna hear no more freaking jackhammers. We're not gonna hear no slamming down of garbage dumpsters. Freaking slamming down after they put trash in the back of it. We're not gonna hear no police sirens, no ambulances, or nothing. It's going to be quiet because there's going to be so many dead bodies and everything. There's only going to be a small remnant. Yeah, so we're protected. And I know y'all got a bunch of testimonies too. For real, we don't got nothing to worry about. Yo, and I can't lie. When this coronavirus first hit and when these lockdowns started, I was like, oh shit, this is really it. I'm like, damn, my favorite restaurants are closed down. I can't even get my rice and beans no more. Hey, but we're Justin. Y'all by Shemeshai, he, he got us. We don't got nothing to worry about. It may have been shaky at first, like, oh shit, like, we're seeing the end come. We are literally seeing the very beginning stages of Jacob's trouble. And guess what? We're making it through. We're not bugging out. We're good. Like, like how I seen the L quote, like, as if, as if Yahweh himself was speaking, it said, pay attention to me, not the storm. Yeah, but we're in the storm right now. But guess what? We're protected. We have a spiritual umbrella over us, and we don't got nothing to worry about. For real. We don't got nothing to worry about. We're all good. Like, yo, we're living in the most amazing times. Yo, we're in the beginning stages of Isaiah 4 and 1. Yo, and I think I mentioned in one of my old videos, yo, I have been getting bombarded with women more than I ever have in my fucking life. Yo, I have 8s, 9s, and 10s asking me to be their husband. Yo, I've never had this much attention in my fucking life. I've been getting attention from Cuban women, Dominican women, Cuban Manassite women, Seminite women, so-called Dominican. I've been speaking to beautiful ass women, Ashrite women, so-called Venezuelan. Yo, I have drop dead gorgeous women telling me they love me every fucking day. Yo, I've been talking to so many women lately to where I've been getting, getting them mixed up. It's like now I got to create a system when I talk to them. Like when I talk to these women, the ones that I'm really interested in, I save their number so that way it shows their name when they text me. But if I'm not that interested in them and if I just met them and I'm not that connected with them yet, I just leave I just leave their number bare. So I'm like, if it just shows their number, I'm like, oh, I, I ain't too into her yet. But if I save her name and her name pops up, I'm like, oh, yeah, that's one of my main ones right there. Yo, it's to the point where I'm rejecting women now. Like when, when I talk to a woman and she looks good and when I tell her to send me some more pictures of her and I see that, that, that she don't look all good and if she acts stupid, I'm like, oh, on to the next one. And I, I had this other woman, she, yo, she was like a straight up nine. Beautiful ass body, sexy lips, beautiful eyes, everything. Like, and, and she, she wanted me badly, but she began acting stupid. So I told her, I was, I was like, since you want to be stupid, I'm going I'm to go and drill my other woman, but I'm going to block you. So I blocked her. And guess what? Days later, now I got a woman even better than her. Yo, I've, yo, I'm like fucking drunk off of estrogen right now. <laughs> yo, we are in the beginning stages of Isaiah 4 and 1. 
Yo, like, yo, I, I've never wanted to be alive so bad in my life. Like, I, I'm not even having suicidal thoughts no more. Because we get those thoughts sometimes, like, damn, like, sometimes we feel like you're howled by a shimmy shine and dealing with us. Sometimes we feel like our prayers ain't being answered. But for now, yo, I, I can't wait to see what happens next. Yo, oh my gosh, yo. I, yo, I've been speaking to women so fucking beautiful. If you would have looked them in the eyes, it's like, yo, their beauty makes you want to have a fucking heart attack. It's like on that on that freaking Judith level, like stopping men going to war with each other. I'm like, damn. Yo, these women see that we got to glow. I, yo, I've never had this much attention in my fucking life before. For real, yo, these foreign women are fucking gorgeous. They, yo, they love being submissive. They love being women. They love serving you. Yo, they can't wait to be dominated. They love being overtaken. Yo, they love the masculine energy of the Israelite man. Yo, that's why when Isaiah 4 and 1 comes, I want all these foreign women. Yo, but these bitches over here in Babylon, I don't want none of them. For real. Yo, foreign women, they show you so much love and affection. For real, yo, they're fucking amazing. I'm like, yo, when Isaiah 4 and 1 comes, I want all of them. For real. Yo, you how by Shemeshai got so much in store for us. And even Elder Apostle Gabbai said that, like, when it comes to these one-third women being saved, the majority of these women are going to be in other countries. For real, like in Africa, in Asia, South America, Central America. Yo, they are mad fucking feminine. Like, they enjoy being women. Yo, for real. And, yo, and, and, then, and a lot of them be approaching me. I'm like, oh, shit. A lot of them, they, they give me their number without me even asking them. I'm like, damn. Yo, I've been speaking to this fine-ass Manassai woman, so-called Cuban. Yo, she's fucking beautiful. Yo, and we were talking, right? And then I asked her. I was like, so what makes you interested in me? You know what she said? She said, I love black men. I was like, oh, shit. And then she asked me, she's like, so what makes you interested in me? I was like, I love your hair. I love your lips. I love your eyes. I was like, I love all of your sexiness. Yo, you know what she said to me next? And this was within, like, 20 minutes of us speaking. You know what she said after that? She said, I want you inside me. I was like, oh, shit. Yo, so look, we already got women begging us for marriage. And I, I've had several women say, like, they, they, they want to be my wife. Yo, so Isaiah 4 and 1 already here. Yo, and I'm taking all of them. And guess what? A lot of these foreign women, even though they still may have that brainwashing to where they believe in monogamy and they kind of despise polygamy, guess what? A lot of those women are so feminine that as hell increases, it's not going to take much for them to fall in line because they're already so feminine. But over here in Babylon, it's going to take death to humble these bitches. But when it comes to these other women, they're going to get in line mad quick. Yo, I got women, like, they're just, like, pouring out the hearts to me. Like, I never, yo, I've never got this shit before. They're telling me how they're high in their body and their love is all mine. And it's for no other man but me. I'm like, damn. I'm like, yo, is this shit real? I'm like, is Yahweh about Shem shimmy shot playing tricks on me? <laughs> Slack, yeah. Had that call come through. Yo, but this is fucking beautiful. I'm like, yo, is y'all by Shimmy Shot playing with me? Or is this for real? <laughs> I'm like, yo, am I imagining things? Yo, I, I, I've never felt this shit before. I'm like, yo, I, I can't wait to see what happens next. I'm like, I want to see alive and get my fucking blessings. Sis, so we should be happy to be here now. Shoot, because think that we've been through all this hell. We've been through all this pain. We've been through all this pain. And guess what? I can't, I can't remember what motivational speaker it is, but I believe that I may, may have been Les Brown. Some of y'all may have heard of him. He, he's a very good mo motivational speaker. I believe he's Judah. He's one of the Southern Kingdom tribes. But he was like, you've been through all this pain and you've been through all the suffering. You might as well get a reward for it. Yeah, do y'all really want to die? You want to go to the grave just being like, because before you die, you always see how people, when they have a near-death experience, how their whole life flashes before them. Do you want your whole life flashing before you, knowing that you didn't get to see the fall of your enemies, knowing that your prayers didn't get answered, and you got none of your blessings? Hell fucking no. You want to get everything you've been praying for, your spiritual power, seeing the downfall of this place, having beautiful women come up to you and be submissive. And just drenching you in their beauty and ever and their sexiness. Don't y'all want that? And guess what? Damn right you want it. And guess what? We're about to fucking get it too. And we're already getting it. It's already happening. 
Yo, I, I, I've never had this shit happen to me before. I'm fucking loving this. Yo, I, I wake up to messages I, I, literally every single day, every single day, every single night. I got beautiful ass women telling me how they want to make love with me, how they want me inside them, how they want to fucking get on their knees and suck my dick. I'm talking everything. Like, I ain't trying to be descriptive, but you know my style is getting into detail. But I'm just letting y'all know because this, this, this is what it's going to be. When Isaiah 4 and 1 comes, we're going to have all these beautiful ass women coming to us. And you're probably like, well, what if they live in other countries? Guess what? Yahweh by is going to have angels bring them to you. Yahweh by is he's going to have you teleport around the country and ride in chariots and go get them. What, you think that's far-fetched? You think the Lord can't do that? That's why you cannot put the Lord in a box. The Lord can do anything. Look at you, like, all the, a lot of you got women coming to you in person, or you may be speaking to them online, but you don't have your passport. She may not have her passport. So you're like, how are we going to meet? Yeah, how about she? Michelle's going to make y'all meet. You're going you're gonna to ride in a chariot to her? You're going to teleport to her? You're going to fly to her? Like Dragon Ball Z style? And guess what? Y'all remember that movie, The Incredibles, with that kid that could run so fast that he could run on water as if it was a solid, as, as if it was slack, yeah. Y'all see that kid in the, that movie, The Incredibles, how he could run so fast that he could run on water as if it was a solid surface? You, you may not even want to teleport. You're going to make it fun. You, you may just run across the ocean, run across the Pacific Ocean, slack, yeah. You're going to run across the Pacific Ocean. Fuck, man. <laughs> I'm, I'm so upset. I can't even say it right. Run across the Pacific Ocean. Run across the Atlantic Ocean. You're going to run all the way to her. You're going to be able to run across the continents and all that stuff. Yeah, you, you buy a shit shot is going to make it fun. And even this other brother said that, too. He said, when men of the Lord get spiritual powers, the whole entire earth is going to become our playground. For real. Yo, we're going to be having mad fun with our spiritual power. We're going to be sleeping on clouds. We're going to be running on water. You're going to flap to an airplane and sit on top of it. You're going to fly next to a, you're going to fly next to a pilot that's spraying a chemtrail. You're going to wave to him. He's going to be like, what the fuck? And then you're going to punch your fist through the windshield of the airplane. Just drag him out of the cockpit and then drop him to the ground. And before you drop him to the ground, you're going to hold his face in the chemtrail debris that he just spread out of the airplane and you're going to make him inhale it. Yup. And then you're going to drop him back to the earth with no parachute and let him let every bone shatter in his body and make him sprout like Humpty Dumpty. Yo, we're about to have some serious power. That's why, yo, stop with that small-minded bullshit. We're about to be doing some crazy shit. Esau's science ain't gonna be able to explain it. No, Esau's magi, his sorcerers, no one's gonna have an explanation. People are gonna have no choice but to say that this is the power of Yahweh Wah Yahweh Shai. People will acknowledge the Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. That's why we gotta stop saying Most High God in this, even though that's what he is, but we gotta use that name. That's why the scripture said Malachi, it says the name of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai is dreadful among the heathen. We gotta be using that name. That's why all throughout the book of Psalms, King David always says, I will trust in thy name, I will praise thy name, I will believe in thy name, I will honor thy name, I will bless thy name. It's all about the name. The name is very important, this power in the name. And Esau knows this. That's why all these fake ass camps, one thing they always avoid is the name. Because words have power. And words have power to them. For real, yo, we got so many great things on the way. For real. I'm like, damn, I'm getting love from Akium. I'm getting love from women now, too. I'm like, oh, yo, it, it just happened out of nowhere, too. It just happened so suddenly. Yo, I, yo, I got women hit me up all the damn time. I got so many women hit me up. It, it's, it's hard to keep up with all of them now. For real. I got, I got women that speak to me in Spanish, so guess what? And, and I've been practicing Spanish too, and guess what? That's also going to be our spiritual power, speaking in tongues and speaking in different languages. Because a lot of these women that we speak to, they're not going to be speaking English, or some, for some of you brothers, Spanish may be your first language, but some of your women may be speaking Creole, some of them may be speaking Russian, some of them may be speaking Hindi, so you're going to be able to speak in tongues and communicate with them. So now when I speak to a lot of these, um, these um, Manasseh women and these Ashrite women and Simeonite women, I I'd be using a, 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 the Google Translator app to speak to them so I can speak Spanish to them. And, and it's pretty fun too. For real, it's like, it's like I'm learning a new skill. 
For real. But I'm like, yo, this shit has never happened to me before. For real. Yo, and these foreign women I speak to, they're so fucking humble. I'm speaking to this Ashrae woman. She's um, so-called Venezuelan. Yo, she's like, literally, I'm no fucking lie, the most gorgeous fucking woman I've ever seen in my fucking life. Yo, and I told her that too. I was like, you're one of the most beautiful women I ever met in my life. Yo, and she, and she called me a liar. Yo, she thought I was joking. Yo, th that's how shamefaced these women are. Like, you see them as beautiful as hell, but they don't even feel that way. But, but when it comes to these black bitches over here in America, you tell them they're beautiful, they'll call you thirsty, they'll say, ah, uh, yeah, 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 lame, you're like, what the fuck? But when it comes to these foreign women, they love when you give them compliments. They love when you acknowledge their beauty and their sexiness. They love to feel desired. They love being overpowered and taken by men. They love feeling your masculine presence. They're a real woman. So guess what? Even though a lot of them don't agree with polygamy now, Guess what? They're going to get in line quickly. And them, it's going to be no problem taking the reproach away because they already have such a high level of femininity. So as hell increases, the, 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 you ain't even going to have to mention Isaiah for one to them or polygamy. It's going to be like, I know the time is going to come where we're going to have to share you, so we might as well do it now. A lot of them are like that because you're all going to be under the same roof and they know that you're loving and then that you have a big heart because Israelite men naturally have big hearts and that's why we're polygamous by nature because we have the ability to love multiple women at a single time. So when it comes to them, we're not going to even have to scream and get loud. Yo, they're so fucking feminine and soft. Oh my gosh. Yo, the, the, these black bitches over here are wildebeest. They're fucking demons. But these women, it ain't going to be nothing for them to get like down the program because they're already with it really. And look, y'all remember that video I did when those two black women were talking about how the time of polygamy is going to come? So if it's getting so bad to where these black bitches are talking about it, which are the worst, the worst, you know, these northern tribe women, they're going to have no problem with it. And a lot of them are already like that when it comes to polygamy. For real, so that, that's going to be no problem. Like I said, when it comes to taking their reproach away, I'll do that shit in a heartbeat. I'm like, yo, these these beautiful ass Israelite women in the, in other countries, yo, I'll give them my, I'll impregnate the shit out of them. But over here in America, hell no, fuck no. Yo, but yo, we're getting our blessings. That's why we gotta believe. Yo, don't have no low faith. Like this is our season. Remember, it's getting bad for everybody else, but it's getting better for us. We're in a paradigm shift. You hear about everyone else complaining and being scared, but we're not scared. We got no reason to be scared. For real, we're living in some beautiful ass times. Yo, I've never felt this good in my life. For real. Like, like I'm really at loss for words. Like, words can't even describe it enough. For real, like, I, I, I've never felt this much love before in my life. I got Akim giving me faith boosters, helping me out with things I need. Beautiful ass women telling me they love me. Beautiful eyes, long hair, juicy lips, Coke bottle, hourglass figures. I'm like, damn, yo, I've never felt this shit before. Yo, and it's, only, yo, it's like, and as time goes on, I meet even more beautiful women. Like when a woman acts stupid, and I've injected her, and I tell her, like, I'm like, I don't even want to deal with you no more. I'm like, damn, she was kind of good looking. I'm like, but nah, I ain't running back to her. Guess what? Another woman. Pops up that's even more beautiful and better than she is. Yeah, but it's, it's like whack-a-mole. <laughs> you ever play whack-a-mole at an arcade? When you hit one, another pops up. Yeah, guess what? Another one pops up. Yeah, so guess what? We're already rejected women. Like I told y'all, I told you. I said, we're going to do all the accepting and all the rejecting. And guess what is happening? And I spoke to this dumb black bitch. And yo, one brother told me this too. Because the scriptures say in Sirach, how a man that travels has much experience and one brother even told me that travels a lot he was like the behavior of the black woman is universal it doesn't matter whether you go to any state in america whether boston whether you go to los angeles whether you go to detroit whether you go to st louis it's like all these black women have that nigga woman nasty ass demon mentality and guess what even these women like in uk or like in ghana a lot of them are better over a lot of them are better than the american women but a even even a lot of them got some bitchy ass attitudes and I guess what? I just rejected another beautiful ass woman. She, she was like an eight. Because um, we were speaking, she hit me up first too. So we started talking, she gave me a number. She hit me up. And then I was like, what's up, baby? And then she's like, um, don't call me that. She's like, I just met you. 
I was like, I was, I was like, I was like, I was like, I was like, yo, you're boring. I was like, every other woman that I first meet, I was like, when I call them that, they love it. And then she was like, yeah. And then she's like, that's because they fall for your charming words. Like, like saying, like as a compliment, I'm like, so why don't you fall for it then? And guess what? I, I cut her off. And then she sent me some more pictures of her. And she didn't even look that good. Yo, you ever see pictures of women on a website and... If she gets just the right angle, she'll look fine as hell. But then when you see regular pictures of her, she's all ugly. I'm like, yo, she ain't even that fucking good looking. I'm like, I'm like, because um, the picture that she first showed me um, only showed her face. But the other ones, it shows her full body. Yo, this bitch is as thin as a fucking toothpick. I'm like, she got no ass, no titties, no hourglass figure, no thickness and nothing. I'm like, she ain't nothing but bone. I'm like, I'm like, I'm like I, I rejected her. Yep. And I got a bunch of other fine-ass women that I'm talking to. Yep, so guess what? We're, we're, we're rejected women now. Like, I, I've, I've never been in a position where I've got to have options. But now it's happening. Why? Because all the power is being translated to the men of the Lord. Now we're doing all the picking. Yep, I told you. Like, I know a lot of you, when we say these things, you probably think we're just saying that out of jest. But now nah, this is real. We're going to do all the picking and choosing. We're going to do all the accepting and all the rejecting. Yeah, now we got women simping after us. Yep, and it's going to happen more and more. And this is only the beginning. Yo, you already got women bugging out. And this is only the beginning. Even though things are getting bad, yo, we haven't even got into Isaiah, the third chapter, verses 16, all the way to verse 26. Imagine when that happens. Now women are complaining because they don't got food, because they got no jobs. But imagine when they become homeless. Imagine when they don't have no running water. Imagine when these women got to sleep in the woods and sleep in their cars and sleep in abandoned buildings and have to make makeshift tampons and can't even really take care of their feminine hygiene the way they want to. Imagine how submissive they're going to be then. Yo, but when it comes to getting women, I don't want no woman in America. I'm taking all foreign women. Like, I know I said I, I got kind of discouraged. I'm like, yo, I'm like, Isaiah 41 sounds cool, but I ain't really excited about it. But now I am excited about it because I'm taking all these foreign women. They like me already while I'm at my lowest state. So guess what? Just imagine where we get that power. Like how we always say, if you're not with us right now, then don't come to us later when we get our shine on and when we are more precious than fine gold. And we're more precious than fine gold already. Yep, so guess what? We're, we're rejecting these women now. Yep, and like I told you all about that first woman, I, I pulled a King David on her. She wanted to be stupid. I was like, okay. I, I, said, I, I said that word for word just like that too. Word for word exactly. I was like, since you want to play games, I'm going to go and join my other woman. And, and then I blocked her. And I, she, I, I didn't even give her the chance to talk back to me and be stupid. Yep, she wanted to play stupid. Guess what? I blocked her. Now I got a woman better than her. Yep. Yo, and she was sexy as fuck, too. And I, and I asked her, too. I was like, so what makes you interested in me? Like, I, I like to ask a woman that. I was like, so what makes you interested in me? She's like, I don't know. She's like, you just look like a really nice guy, and you look like that you would really be good in bed. I was like, oh, shit. But we hit it off really quick, but she wanted to be stupid and retarded. So guess what? Now she's going to die, and she got nuclear missiles waiting for her. And before the nuclear missiles get her, 10,000 men are going to have their way with her. All because she wanted to be stupid. Yep. Yeah, so we're going to have our fun. Everyone else had their fun. Now it's time for the men of the Lord to have their fun. That's why I said in these last days in Second Ezra, the second chapter, it says how we are going to be merry and have abundance, but everyone else is going to be mourning, and they're going to be sorrowful. So we're not going to be crying or nothing. Our life may be a little bit shaken up a little bit. Like, for example, you may have a favorite restaurant or two, and you can't get the food you want to go to. You may have been used to going to the gym. Like for me, I used to do my gymnastics. And I can't do my flips right now in the gym. Because they're closed down. Because right now, all non-essential businesses are closed down. But guess what? We got food. We got water. We got a roof over our head. We're good. We don't got nothing to worry about. We got everything we need. Everyone else is bugging out. Let them be the ones to bug out. They make it easy for us because they're not serving the Lord. So they make it easy for us to serve Yahweh by Hashem Yashai. Because there's only 144,000 men. So there's only 144,000 seats. So a small number of men are going to get those seats. But everyone else, they're going to be left standing. So thank you. L let these people be stupid. They make it easy for us to get the kingdom. 
while they're busy going to the supermarkets being Arcano, we're just going to be having the angels direct us in, like how it says in Second Ezra, the 16th chapter. It says how, uh, fear not, neither doubt for Yahweh, why Yahweh Shai is our guide. So we're going to be guided. And guess what? I just got guided. That's why I had that beautiful testimony. Like, I, I don't think I was going to go back in the hotel. I don't know where I was going to go. I'm like, oh, I might have to sleep outside. I'm not talking to none of my family. They don't give a fuck about me. I'm like, so I might have to sleep outside. But then I got that text that the Elamite, the so-called East Indian hit me up. And he said I can go back in. So th that trial was only 30 minutes. But I stayed calm, took deep breaths. I was playing some LS music. And everything was all good. Yo, so we're getting everything. We're getting our spiritual power. We're getting our women. We're getting everything. Yahweh by Hashem is answering our prayers. Everything that we desire in our heart and our mind, it's physically manifesting. Like how that saying goes. If you can picture it in your mind, you can hold it in your hand. Whatever you pray for, guess what? It's already coming to you. It's already yours. It was yours before you even prayed for it. You already had it before you were even born. Yep. Yo, we got everything. This is our fucking time. And ain't nobody taking it from us either. Like how it says in Revelation, the third chapter, it says, let no man take that crown. Ain't no one taking that crown. Ain't no one taking that shine off. Shit. For real. Like, I, 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 I can't wait to talk to my fucking wives to be. And guess what? They're already my wives. Guess what? If, if you can picture yourself inside them, making love to them, and if you already got these women, you got all these different women telling you how they want you inside you, I mean, how they want you inside them, guess what? They already you is. It already happened in the spirit world, and guess what? These were, were all your wives and your past lives anyways, and now they're coming back into your life again. Yo, we got so many fucking amazing things happening. Yo, like, yo, it's, it's so fucking amazing. Yo, that's, that shit feels so fucking good. You have a bunch of beautiful ass women saying good morning to you, calling you their king. I'm like, yo, I'm like, is this shit for real? I'm like, yo, am I fucking dreaming? I'm like, oh my gosh. I'm like, oh yeah, I've been waiting for this. And guess what? A lot of you got beautiful ass women coming to you now. You're like, oh hell yeah, she's my wife for sure. Guess what? You got women just as good looking as her coming. Yeah, you got You got There's a whole lot more where that came from. You ever hear that saying? There's a whole lot more where that came from. Guess what? There is a whole lot more. I'm like, guess what? And we're going to have the spiritual power to take care of our women too. For real. So we're not going to have to worry about how we're going to get by with all these women. Like how we're going to protect them from martial art troopers and all that. Spiritual powers. We already got spiritual power. We already got everything. We're about to be fully activated. And don't let nobody tell you different. D don't let nobody ruin your faith. Don't even let other Akim try to ruin your faith. Because a lot of these other dudes, they got low faith. So because they're in disbelief, they want to put that same disbelieving spirit on you and try to make you feel like shit. But don't let nobody fuck your faith up. All the spiritual signs you're getting, all the visions and dreams and miracles you're receiving, don't let nobody try to ruin your faith. Nobody. From no cam, even in GMS, and nobody. Because you got a lot of faithless ass dudes in GMS also that try to ruin your faith. Don't let nobody ruin your faith. And that's another video I want to do again soon. I did a video like that before and I want to do another one. Don't let nobody ruin your faith. For real. We got some amazing things about to happen. Uh, a lot of amazing things. A lot of unexplainable things that are going to happen for us. And it's going to happen out of nowhere. For real. Like this is our time right here. We've been waiting for this. We've been praying upon this. And guess what? We see it happening. So we don't got to be scared of nothing. We see all these places closed down. All these major cities are ghost towns. Good. Let it be that way. It's getting better for us. All these people, they're the ones suffering. All the people that have businesses and everything, these people are going down. And some of you may be like, but I'm out of work and everything. But guess what? Don't think of it as you're being punished. Think of it as... Yahweh by is letting you rest. So now you don't have to go serve Esau. And guess what? You're still going to be provided for and get food and everything. And you're probably like, I don't know how though. Yeah, that's the point. That's where the faith comes in. That's what makes it exciting. If you already knew exactly what was going to happen, it would be boring. It's like when you watch a movie. If you already knew what was going to happen next, would you want to watch that movie? You wouldn't be at the edge of your seat inter um, interested. 
But when you're at the edge of your seat wondering what's going to happen next, that's where the excitement comes in. Yeah, so we don't got nothing to worry about. For real, you how about Shimmy Shots with us? Yo, it is so damn quiet. I, I, I'm, you know you know that spot where I go to where I'm on the highways and byways where the police always ask me for my ID? Yeah, I'm in that same area. Yeah, behind this abandoned movie theater. Yeah, it is so quiet. And there's a plaza across the street. It's fucking dead. This restaurant that's nearby, it's dead. Everything is dead. And that's the way we love it. This place is going down. This place is going down. We love it. For real. Like, I, I was going to go to this bank to do this video, but it's still open. And they called police on me before, so I, I ain't trying to go over there. For real. I, I'm just chilling over here. Why well, don't got to worry about nobody mess with me? For real, yo. Th this, th this is it right here. Yo, and a lot of brothers are doing Isaiah for in one videos because it's coming. For real. Th this is our time right here. Yo, and it's funny because um, a lot of these women that I speak to, a lot of them are going through hell. And they're telling me, like, they don't know how they're going to eat or what they're going to do. But it's like, now since I've been through all this hell, I know what it's like. So I can easily boost their faith. I'm like, yo, I know this is going to be my fucking wives when Isaiah 41 comes. And they already are. I already got these women calling me their husband. And I'm already calling them my wife. I be calling them my princess. And they be calling me their king. Yo, and they like that shit too when I be calling them princess. But you can't do that shit with a black woman over here. Shit, yo, you call a black woman over here princess, she'll be like, ah, oh, excuse me, it's queen. I'm not a princess. But these other women, they, they know their position. They are like, they, they, they love being submissive. They love being led by a man. For real, these women, like, they, they, they're obsessed with their femininity. They absolutely love being women. But not the women over here in Babylon. These women want to be dudes. They're berserk. They're belligerent. These women are wildebeest. For real. These, these women are monsters. For real, but yo, these foreign women, yo, I've never experienced this shit before. And that's why you have SYSBM, which stands for Save Yourselves Black Men. Yo, if, if you want true love, you, you gotta get a foreign woman. Yo, you ain't gonna find that over here. Like, there's only very, very, very few women like that over here. For real. Like, yo, you ever meet a, you ever meet a, a woman so feminine? That even when she's pissed off at you, she's still sexy, and you can still talk to her, and she's still all quiet, and she don't get all loud or nothing. Yeah, a, um, foreign women are like that. Like, y'all remember that singer Neo? Yo, he was the shit back in the day. He even had a song about that back then, about a woman that he was with, how she looks sexy when she's mad. Yeah, but yo, when, when a black woman's angry at you, yo, it, it's like dealing with a rabid dog foaming out the mouth. It's like, you don't want to be nowhere around them. They, 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 they want to get up in your face. They want to ball their fists and try to fight you and shit. Yo, that, that's why I, I will never deal with a Babylonian woman ever again. For real. I, I, I will never deal with a woman over here again. I, I, I'll take some northern child woman over here, but a lot of them are fucked up too. But a lot of them are ill. I've met some fine-ass, bomb-ass fucking semi-night women, so-called Dominican women, that are eights and nines that fucking sweat me. Yo, at one time, <laughs> yo, <laughs> and I know the Ock's gonna watch this video too. Me and this Ock went to a restaurant, this Simeonite restaurant, this Dominican spot, right? They got some good ass food. And there was this beautiful ass woman. There was two of them I liked, but I spoke to one of them first. And she didn't speak good English. <laughs> yo, so I went on the Google Translator because I want, I want to tell her that she was beautiful. So I looked up how to say, um, yeah, beautiful in Spanish. So then she came back to our table to serve us our food. And then I said to her, I was like, eres hermosa, which means you're beautiful in Spanish. And then she said, like, oh, thank you. She, yo, she was so fucking happy. Yo, and she liked me. She, yo, she fucking sweated me. I, I swept her right off her feet. And there was another one I liked too. But I only wanted to talk to one at a time. So then a week later, we went to the restaurant again. And this other fine ass seminar woman was there. And this one, she spoke a little bit better English. And I spoke to her. And, yo, I told her that she had a beautiful smile. Yo, and she fucking loved me. Yo, so when it comes to these northern tribe women and foreign women, they're some real ass women. For real. For real. So guess what? We're going to do all the picking and choosing. Yo, you think your Howard Bai Shem Yashai wants these brute beast black bitches up on a chariot? Hell no. These fine, delicate, soft, submissive women, we're getting all them. 
but these women only death is going to humble them but for these um but these are women in other countries yo they're so fucking fragile and feminine and they're so sexy and yo they'll fucking love you to death yo and they fall in love with you so fucking fast too yo 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 just tell them they're beautiful yo and, and they they just love you to death that's how love's supposed to be. That's how it was in the ancient world. There was no struggle to get a woman in the ancient world. In the ancient world, women were women back then. You tell a woman she's beautiful, like she'll love you to death. But over here, women want to call you thirsty. Women want to make fun of you and shit. So, and these women wonder why men don't want them. These women are beasts. But these women... Yo, it's amazing. Like I can't even say it enough. Like, I could say it like a million different ways. But I, I never felt this shit before. And guess what? It's only getting better from, from here for us. Look what's going on. Yo, the coronavirus was the best thing to ever fucking happen. The Wadi Haobai Shemesh Shah for sending these plagues. You see how everything's falling together? You see, it looks like everything's falling apart, but everything's really coming together. Esau's falling. We're rising. Hell is disappearing, but the kingdom of heaven's being built. The kingdom of heaven's already prepared for us, and we're about to get into it. We're getting all of our wives. I'm like, yo, like I, I've always had a fear of impregnating a woman. I'm like, I gotta worry about child support. I gotta worry about the mother being a demon, and using my children as a weapon against me. But now I'm like, yo, I've never been so interested in having children. Not that I want to do it, cause now ain't the time to. I, I, I don't want. But I'm like, damn. I'm like, well, I can actually really picture myself being a father now. I'm like, yo, I've never had that feeling before in my life. I've never had that feeling before, but I do now. And like I said before, a lot of these women, they have some of Esau's demonization on them too. Like when it comes to polygamy and polygamy being a bad light. But guess what? It ain't gonna be, it ain't gonna be hard for them to accept it. When it comes to Isaiah 4 and 1, they're not gonna have no problem with it. We're gonna have to hear their mouth or nothing. They're gonna love it. These women, they'll get in line so damn fast. So these women, they not be, they may not be on the level of Sarah, but guess what? They're pretty fucking close to it. And then guess what? These women are learning too. These women, these foreign women, they, they'll get in line so damn fast. They already cook for you. They already give you as much sex as you want. They already call you king. They already follow your lead. They don't try to accept your authority. Yo, so it ain't, it ain't gonna be hard. For real. These women are going to get in line mad quick. So guess what? When it comes to Isaiah 4 and 1 and all these women cling to us, Yahweh, why Yahweh shy? He ain't talking about these rotor beasts over here. He ain't talking about these rabid dogs, a.k.a. these these eaves over here. I'm going to say BB. I don't want to say the actual term because I, I, like, I, I'm really tired of these fucking strikes. It's like I, I can't say shit without getting a fucking strike. It's like, yo, you can't say shit without Esau fucking. Yo, you can't say shit without Esau's pussy bleeding. Esau's so fucking soft. But, yo, foreign women are the way to go. I've noticed that, too. I've noticed that the happiest Akim I know are with northern tribe women and foreign women. For real. And foreign Israelite women. For real. That's the way to go. Yeah, so what's here, Akim? Uh, a lot of us are, uh, are in uncertain situations, but guess what? Watch a day from now, tomorrow, by the weekend, by next week, you're going to be in a better off situation, everything's going to be all good, and you're going to think back to this time right now when you were bugging out and stressing, and you're going to be like, oh shit, I was bugging out for nothing, I had nothing to even worry about. So we don't got nothing to worry about. Like, like I, I love that quote. Instead of stressing about what can go wrong, be excited for what can go right. Because how do you know something's going to go bad? You don't know that. You don't know what blessings you have in store for the day. Yo, if you would have told me a week ago that I would have nines and tens telling me that they want me inside them and they want me to be their husband, and I got a woman proposing to me, I, yo, I, 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 would, I, I wouldn't have probably believed you. Or guess what? I probably would have believed you, but I don't think it would happen this soon because a lot of times, like Akim say, like, oh, it's going to happen on the Lord's time. And when Akim hear that things are going to happen on the Lord's time, they automatically assume that's going to take a long time. But how do you know it's going to take a long time? A lot of times things happen instantly. Like when I, when I told y'all, oh, shit, look at my wife set me up. <laughs> like, there we go. That's spirit right there. Yep. 
my beautiful ass wives for the kingdom. For real. I'm like, now I'm thinking, I'm like, which one's going to have my firstborn? <laughs> I'm already thinking about that. Yeah, I've never felt this good in my life. Yo, and, and they can cook their ass off too. When it comes to that rice and beans and chicken. Yo, I, I can eat that shit all day. I fucking love me some rice and beans. Yo, I can eat a, I can eat a big ass part of that all to myself. Shit, yo, I, I, I'm a rice fanatic. I'm a rice fiend. Yep, and guess what? The, these women, yo, they're ready to serve us. Yo, so I can, there is hope. That's why I tell you, yo, speak to these foreign women. Yo, 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 sweep them right off their feet in the blink of an eye. And they'll sweep you off of your feet. Yo, they'll make you feel like such a fucking man. Hey, yo, oh my gosh, that feels so fucking good. And in the ancient world, all Israel women were like that. And we're coming back to that. Yes, yeah, so guess what? There's hope. Remember, d d don't, don't look at these Babylonian bitches and get discouraged. These are demons over here, but in over other countries where they still have that traditionalism and where women don't have all that technology and luxuries and all this government assistance, yo, they can't wait to have a fucking man. Yo, those women are like puppies in a box saying, pick me, pick me, pick me. Those women are like dogs and cats at the um, SPCA where you have all the animals that are in the cages waiting for someone to adopt them. And when people are walking by, they're waiting to, to be adopted and to have a real home. Those women are just like that. They can't wait to be a wife. They can't wait to be on their back and you thrusting your rod aside of them. Yo, they can't wait to make love with you. They love being a woman. They love to please you. They love just overwhelming you with their femininity and their sexuality and just getting your testosterone boiling so you can just fuck the living shit out of them. They love that shit. They love being women. That, and that's how women are going to be in these last days and in the kingdom. A, 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 literally in the kingdom and in these last days. Like when it comes to the time of taking away the reproaches of all of our wives. Yo, at every single second of the day, every minute of the day, they're going to be ready to go for you to pop them. They're always going to be bathing in essential oils. They're going to be taking care of their body, eating healthy, making sure they, they smell good, making sure their body's on point, making sure their pH balance of their body's correctly, making sure they smell sweet. So at any given moment, you'll just be ready to ravish the living shit out of them. Yo, these women love that, but not over here in America. These women are beasts. Yo, but I'm telling you, I can't say it enough. I want to keep saying it over and over again. Yo, the real love is going to be found from these women overseas. You have a few women over here, like I said, a few. You have a handful of women over here that are somewhat still in their right mind. But if you want it for real, go, go with these foreign women. Like in South America, Central America, the Philippines. Oh, don't forget about those fucking Filipino women. Yo, they fucking love Israelite men to death. Yo, you'll sweep them off their feet so fucking fast. I've been speaking to some fine-ass um, Japhetic women, so-called Filipino. Yo, and a lot of them, I don't even go to them. They come to me first. I'm like, yo, I'm like, yo, is this for real? I'm like, yo, this feels like a dream. I'm like, yo, I'm like, oh my gosh. Like like I told y'all, I, I, like I, I, y'all heard me say in many Isaiah 41 videos I've done. I was like, yo, watch, when Isaiah 41 comes, yo, we are going to be drowning in fucking estrogen. And that's already happening. And I, I got really discouraged with Isaiah 41 for a while. And I, I was really pissed off for a while. I'm like, you know what, I ain't even going to do Isaiah 41 videos anymore. But now it changed, now it changed my mind. I'm like, yes, I am. I'm like, I'm, like, I'm going to do some more Isaiah 41 videos. Because a lot of brothers be like, dude, we got to take these fucking beasts over here. Because even in that video I did, one of the brothers was saying... He was on the live stream too with those two black women. This other guy joined the live stream and he was saying, he was like, why would a, a so-called black man want you when you didn't want him all this time, but now that you're losing everything and all of a sudden now you want him? You think your by Shemeshai is going to make us take those women? Hell no. No, he's giving us the real women. Your by Shemeshai knows what he's doing. Yeah, you think your by Shemeshai is going to give us a smack in the face like that? After what all these bitches did to us? Hell no. No, he's giving us these real women. The ones that love being women. The ones that love their natural position. And they embrace it. And they love it. And they love having a man. These are the women that we're getting. Yep, these women in Spain, Portugal, these women in um, um, Cameroon, these women in Ghana, these women in uh, Mauritania, 
These women in Morocco, they are so, oh, they are beautiful as f a motherfucker. And these are all for us. There's plenty of women to go around. So guess what? Yeah, we ain't gonna be fighting over women. There's gonna be plenty to go around. We're gonna have all the women we want. Every brother's gonna be satisfied. Every brother's gonna be satisfied with all the women that he has. For real. And guess what? That's why in the ancient world, adultery was very was very rare. Because not because not only did every man have so many women to himself, but if you do commit adultery, you'd get put to death. But nowadays, men are so deprived that when they come across a woman, even though she got a man, the man in his mind, he's like, well, I haven't been with a woman in a while, and I got blue balls, I'm sexually frustrated, so even though she got a man, I I'm going to go ahead and lay with her anyways, which is wicked, and I don't justify it, but in the ancient world, you had so many women that you wouldn't even be thinking about taking no other man's woman. Not that you would think about a pit, but I'm just using an example. Back then, every man was satisfied because there's more women than men. So there's plenty of women to go around because women outnumber men seven to one. And what does it say in Isaiah 4 and 1? It says seven women shall take hold of one man. And guess what? We always talk about these simps and these manginas and these faggots. And it's an abomination. But guess what? We should be thanking them. Thank these manginas. Thank these blue pill men. Thank these beta males. Thank these homosexual ass men. You know why? Because all these men are going to die. All these men are going to get drafted. All these men are going to starve to death. So guess what? Not all, now it's going to be way more than seven women to one man. It's going to be like a hundred women to one man. That's why it says in um, Second Ezra, the 16th chapter, it says how the men shall die in the war and how, how the women are going to have no husbands and how the bridegroom's going to have no help or nothing. So guess what? There's going to be a giant, giant surplus of women. There's going to be a gigantic, a magnificent, a fucking exponential proportion of women, beautiful ass women, waiting the men to take them. And we're taking every single one of them. Yep, well, yo, we got it coming to us. Yep, so this video right here, it's like a testimony in Isaiah 4 one video put together. But once the lockdown ends, or if my phone happens to work again, I pray that it works. My, my, my Galaxy S9 Plus. A lot of brothers wonder how I do those slideshow videos. And some brothers ask me if I use the app to do it. Nope. The, the slideshow function's already built in. And on this phone, it's very choppy. And whenever I use the screen recorder and the slideshow, um, the slideshow function at the same time, it, it never works and it always messes up. Yeah, so I pray that phone works again. Yo, cause I got so many ill beats on that phone that are no longer on YouTube. But if that phone works again, I had so many I had so many ill beats that I put on using for Isaiah four one videos, Chai videos, Spiritual Power videos, Jacob Shubba videos. Yeah, and those days are coming back. I, I miss doing that, and it's gonna happen again. For real, yo, well, this is our time now. We've been waiting for this. Hell no. This is the best time to be alive. That's why Yahweh said in Matthew the 13th chapter, he said, many have desired to see those things which you see, and I'm not seeing them, and to hear the things which you have heard, and I'm not heard them. And guess what? We're seeing all, all this stuff. We're seeing the fall of our enemies. We're getting all the beautiful ass women we mocked up. And guess what? There's a bunch of other women that we haven't even seen yet that we're going to get. Because if we already seen them, then it wouldn't be too special. But when you have a beautiful ass woman come out of nowhere, you're like, oh shit, this is for me? Yeah, how about Shimeshai gave me this present? Yo, and a lot of these women, because a lot of brothers be like, damn, like, where do you find all these beautiful ass women when you do these Isaiah 4 and 1 slash shows? Hey, I, I be doing a whole lot of digging. And guess what? A lot of these beautiful ass women that are hitting me up now, like y'all seen those messages coming in? A lot of these beautiful women I'm speaking to, look even better than these women on those Isaiah 4 one slideshows. For real. Yo, we're living in beautiful ass times. For real, like I, I, I've never received this much love before. Shit, I'm loving this. And it's only getting better for us because we're shining more and more. As we get put through this fire more and more, we're shining more like pure gold. Like how that saying goes, in order to get olive oil, the leaves gotta be pressed. And diamonds form under pressure and in order for gold to be refined I gotta go through fire 
and seeds go in darkness. Right now we're in the darkness. Right now we're going through the fire. Right now we're under the pressure. Right now we're being pressed. And guess what? It's transforming us and it's making us to that fine brick of gold. Nice and shiny, nice and solid, and more valuable than anything around it. That's us. We are more precious than that. We are more precious than fine gold. That's why we're getting all this love from these women. And it's only going to increase. You probably got a bunch of beautiful ass women talking to you. Guess what? 10,000 more on the way that you're going to have on this side. Yep, and you're going to have enough food to take care of every single one of them. For real, you ain't even going to have to. They're not even going to have to cook. You're just going to make the food appear out of nowhere. It's going to be steaming hot, ready to eat. Yo, we got some amazing things happening. Y'all got to believe. Y'all got to believe. The Lord don't like being put in a box. Y'all buy a don't like that shit. Hell no. We got some ill things about to happen to us. For real, let me clear my throat real quick. All right, all set. Yeah, so this is our time. Told y'all, well, yo, we don't do these videos for decoration. Everything we say, yo, this is this is real. For real. And y'all know me, y'all y'all know I used to go through mad hell when I get, yo, I've caught a hell with women all my life. From elementary school, middle school, high school, all the way up until about a week ago. I've caught hell with women for, I'm 27, I caught hell with women all 27 years of my life. Now I'm getting bombarded by women. Beautiful ass woman. I'm not talking about no scraggle daggles, no low hanging fruit. I'm talking about the woman I like. I'm not you like you know how like you can't get the woman you want, and you gotta settle for something you don't like. You're like ah she's alright, but I, I could do better. But I'm gonna stay with her for now. No, I'm talking about just to my liking. Beautiful eyes, thick juicy thighs, beautiful ass body, everything, long hair, everything, everything, the whole entire package. You yeah, why? Cause we got the power now. Women see it, and you probably like, how do women fill out power over the internet? Easily they can. You ever, you ever hear that saying, a picture has a thousand words? And you want to hear something crazy too? Don't y'all know that a lot of men that do semen retention, they say that when they go on semen retention, they say that not only do they get more attention from women face to face, like when they go to the grocery store or when they walk past women on the street, a lot of dudes say that when they get semen retention, when they do on slack here, a lot of dudes say that when they do semen retention, they get even more attention from women online. Yeah, because everything's energy. Yeah, energy can be felt. Energy is powerful. Energy can travel anywhere. Yep, that's why you, you could be texting somebody and you could tell by the way they're texting you whether they're in a good mood or not. Yo, like, there's been many times where I texted people, and I could tell, by the way, that they were texting me that something was off about them, and then an hour later, they went off on me, they were talking shit, I'm like, up, oh, I knew it. I'm like, I knew something was up. Like, can you ever tell that your woman's about to go off on you before your woman actually does it? Why? Because you, you can feel it. It's energy. It's the same way how you can tell that it's about to rain before it happens. Yeah, you can just feel it. It's the same way, like, if you're really in tune with your mind, body, and spirit, you can tell just by the way your car feels, whether it needs an oil change, whether it needs more transmission fluid, you can just feel it. It's energy. It's instinctual. We already have that built into us. It's the same way you, just, you, 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 could, you could look at a woman and tell if she's fertile or not. The same way a woman could look at a man and she could tell that you have strong semen. That's why semen retention is so important. Because women can feel your masculine energy, even over the internet. Energy is powerful. There's a lot that East I don't understand yet. Yo, and the semen retention me the the, the slack here. The semen retention community is fucking huge. Yo, you have almost a million members on the no fat Reddit community. Like you got dudes talking about the benefits all the time. They say how people contact them out of nowhere when they got semen retention. Women they haven't spoke to in forever. Start contacting them out of the blue. Yeah, because you're on a, you're on a higher frequency. And you, you, you're embedded in the minds of people. Because we're all interconnected. And your energy could be felt. That's why... Yo, how many times have you, Akiam, been thinking about another Ak, and then as you're thinking about him, he calls you or texts you? We've had that all happen to us, right? We've all had that happen to us, right? 
Why? Because that's energy. We already got spiritual power. We, 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 our minds are interconnected. Or how many of you brothers have been going through a certain situation like homelessness, problem with women, and then you'll go on YouTube and you'll check your subscriptions and then boom, a, 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 a brother does a video on women. A brother does a video on having faith and how you how about shame and shall won't forsake us. That's, that's energy. Nothing happens by accident. Everything happens for a reason. Yo, so we're going to have some, um, a lot of amazing things happening for us, and it's already happening. That's why we cannot lose our faith. No matter how hard it is, yo, guess what? We got nothing to worry about. For real. It's going to look scary. It's going to be crazy, but guess what? The angels are right near us. The angels are always right by our side. Yo, eh, eh, yo, if you were to look into the, yo, if you how about Shem Yao Shai, opened up your eyes to the fourth dimension right now, you would see an angel with his arm around you. You would see one angel to your left, another to your right. You would see, you would see everything. You would see the sky blotted out in chariots. Yo, you ever see a cloudy day when there's so many clouds that you can't even see the sky and you can't even see the sun? If Yahweh Ba Shem Yashai opened up your eyes to the fourth dimension, you will see that many chariots to where it blots the sky out. You gotta remember that there's many different dimensions and there's many different planes in the universe. You got a fourth dimension, a fifth dimension, sixth dimension, and all these different dimensions, they overlap the third dimension that we're in the earthly realm. And guess what? When we have spiritual powers, we're gonna be able to see all these things. Yup. Yo, I, like there's a lot of amazing things out there and we're getting more and more knowledge. That's why it says in Daniel, the 12th chapter, it says in the last days, how there shall be an increase in knowledge. And sorry if I keep chipping over my words too. I, I'm just so excited. I know I keep chipping over my words and stuttering, but I'm fucking happy. Yo, I was like, damn. I'm like, I got to leave. I don't even know where I'm going. I was all comfortable too. I was talking to my beautiful ass wives. I was jamming the music. And then I got that call on the hotel phone saying I got to go. I'm like, ah, oh, damn. But look at now I'm, now I'm right back to it. So everything's all good. And that was a short trial. It only lasted about three hours. I, I, I packed up my stuff for about an hour, hour and a half. And then I went outside for about 30 minutes. Then I went back in. So it wasn't that long. It feels like when you're going through it because when you're in a, in a stressful situation, it feels longer than what it really is. It's like when you go on a treadmill, you'll be, you'll be running on a treadmill for like 30 seconds. It'll feel like five minutes. You're like, damn, it's only been 30 seconds. You're like, what the hell? Yeah, a, a stressful situation always feels longer than what it really is. But guess what? Time is being sped up for our sakes. That's why it says how in the book of Matthew, the 24th chapter, it says how the days are being sped up for the elect's sake. So Jacob's show is going to be fast for us. And guess what? It's going to be slow for everybody else. Yo, Jacob's trouble is going to feel like a fucking eternity for these people. For these two-thirds devils and heathens, it's going to feel like forever. But it's going to be fast for us. For real. Like, yeah, we're getting our blessings. Like, I, I remember all the hell I was catching with women. Never being able to get real women. Never having women like me. Yo, but now, I, 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 I'm being bombarded by so many women it feels like I never even caught hell with women at, to begin with. Yep, so that's how it's going to be for all of us. You see, that's why it says in Sirach, the 11th chapter, it says, in prosperity, there is no more remembrance of adversity. And during adversity, there's no more remembrance of prosperity. So, yo, we're going to be blessed so greatly on this side, beginning on this side, because I know a lot of you, I can be like, oh, now we got to wait to the kingdom. No, the fuck we don't. Hey, maybe you, because you got some low-ass faith. Hey, but not us, for, for us to actually believe. No, we're getting our fucking blessings on this side because we have faith. So, so don't try to ruin our fucking faith just because you don't believe. We're getting our blessings on this side. We're going to get so many blessings that we're going to forget that we even caught hell to begin with. For real. Yo, I, I've never got so many women in my life with doing so minimal effort. For real. Like, yo, y'all ever play Devil May Cry? Or you play Dante, um, Dante's Inferno or a God of War. Well, you know when you play those g games, right? You know when you kill your enemies and their soul leaves the body 
and all the orbs gravitate to you and it gives you like coins and money so you can go to the shop in the game and upgrade your abilities and your powers. You know how even if you run away from them, right, the orbs, they follow you. It doesn't, it doesn't matter whether you run or whether you do a double jump or whether you run up a wall or if you stand still. You don't even got to go to the orbs that they automatically drive into you like a vacuum, like, like a black hole. Guess what? We're attracted to women like that. We don't got to do no work. Because we did the work of Yahweh by Hashem Yashai, guess what's already coming to us? That's why the scriptures say, do not force the course of the river. It's already happening. It's like when you digest your food, do you got to literally digest your food? No. Your stomach does it for you. Your body converts it and takes all the minerals, proteins, and vitamins, and nutrients, and then all the waste material, it exits your body. It's like when your heart beats. You don't got to tell your heart to beat. It does it automatically. It's like when you heat up food in an oven or a microwave. It does it for you. It's like if you ever have some files on a computer that's a zip file and you got to unzip it. All you got to do is hit a button to extract it and it does it for you. It's being done for us. Yahweh Ba Hashem is doing it. That's why the scriptures say it is Yahweh Ba Hashem Yashai. That fights for us. He's do he's bringing it to us without us doing nothing. Yo, you see how easy it's happening? That's how the, that's the power of the Lord. That's the power of Yahweh Ba Hashem Yahshai. I'm like, y'all, I'm not even really doing nothing in the coming to me. See, our, our works are paying off. We're getting our spiritual paychecks. And I can't wait to hear the stories of your other Akim. Yo, because other Akim told me that they got women giving me pup. Yo, other Akim are telling me how women in grocery stores are giving them those sad puppy dog looks. Yo, I, I was watching the video, right? Yo, this dude, I, I, that same video that I did about the black woman talking about polygamy, I was reading the comments on that video. And this dude said that his woman tried to con his ex woman tried to contact him on four different phone numbers. And then after she couldn't reach him on four different phone numbers, she got her daughter to call him. Yo, we're, we're getting our power. We're getting our power. We, we, we've been saying this. That's why y'all got to take this video seriously. When we say these amazing spiritual things that's going to happen for us and all these blessings and deliverances and miracles, this is real. We don't say it for no reason. We don't say it out of jest. We're not being figurative. We're being literal. Yo, women are going crazy for us. They, they know that we're the shit. Like, of course, we're humble, but when, when all these beautiful women talk to you, don't be like, why is she talking to me? Hell no. Be like, yeah, because I'm more precious than fine gold. Because you're an Islam man. You're the most masculine man on the fucking planet. These, these other heathens, these heathens can match up to us. These pookas and ravens ain't on our level. Ain't nobody like the men of the Lord. Ain't nobody like Ha Baya Shao Dawada, the house of David. Yeah, so you yo get very used to some beautiful ass woman hitting you up. Get used to it. Yo, get yo, get prepared and get ready for a bunch of beautiful ass women to tell you how they can't wait through to fuck the shit out of them. It's already happening. It's already happening to me, and it's happening for a bunch of other Akim. Yo, get ready. Yo, you are about to be drunk off a woman. You are about to be overloaded with women very soon. Watch. It's going to happen out of nowhere, too. Women that you meet in person. Women that you meet online. And you probably think, well, why would the Lord give us women online? Easy, because he can do that. Don't you do everything else online? Doesn't everything like revolve around apps and all that? Like, you know that commercial that says, oh, there's an app for this. There's an app for that. There's an app for this. Well, look at you. You, you. you watch videos online. You, you can learn how to build a house online. You can learn how to fix your car online. You can learn how to overcome a sickness online. You look for jobs online. You pay your bills online. And guess what? You meet Akim online. So why wouldn't you meet your, your woman online? And guess what? I know it, brother. He met his woman because this woman commented on one of his videos. And guess what? They've been together for over a year now. So that ain't far-fetched. So y'all got to believe. And, and, yo, and that's why when it comes to a lot of dudes, like I, I, I can't tell a lot of dudes in the truth like deep spiritual things. Because they're going to give me some dumbass stupid reply. They're going to try to discourage my faith. And then they're going to try to discuss, like, ah, oh, now the Lord ain't doing that. So that's why, like, I, there's only so many brothers that I can tell, like, deep spiritual things to. For real. Because oh, a lot of dudes don't believe. They think it's a joke. 
a lot, a lot of dudes talk like they don't even want blessings. A lot of dudes, they have been catching hell for so long that when it comes to a better living and being risen up and being more pressed and fine gold and being a king, they can't picture it because they've been in a low position all their life. But guess what? We're about to get that. So be happy. We've been praying for all this. We've been doing all this sighing and crying. So you don't want your blessings? You want to cry? You want to um, catch some more hell and not have shit? Hell no. This is all about to change. We're about to have everything. We're not doing all this praying for nothing. We're doing all this praying because we're about to get everything. For real, this is our time. Yo, I never felt this fucking good. For real. Like how the scriptures say in Sirach, that the beauty of a woman cheered up the countenance. I've never been so fucking happy. I got fucking drop dead ass gorgeous women telling me that they fucking love me and that they want me to fuck the shit out of them and how they can't wait for me to be their husband. I'm like, what the hell? I'm like, and these are the most gorgeous women I've ever seen. I ain't talking about no low level ass women either. For real. And I'm talking beautiful without makeup. Beautiful bodies, everything, flawless. I'm like, oh my gosh. I'm like, yo, this is amazing. For real. Yep, so, th and that's another motivator to be our semen retention. Because you brothers, you're about to have all these women. And, and you, you want to have a bunch of sexual energy for all these beautiful women. For real, you don't want to be masturbating. Hell no, save that energy. Don't be masturbating. Don't be watching porn. Don't be edging. Save all that energy. Because you better be ready to save it for all these beautiful ass women when you're laying with them. Because it's about to happen. Yeah, we got real women coming. And remember, you don't got to take these Babylonian bitches. There's plenty of women overseas and in foreign countries that are waiting for you. They're waiting for a guy just like you. Yep, and guess what? You ever see a beautiful ass woman in your dreams? You ever have a dream that you have a sex with a woman, then you wake up, you're like, ah, oh, fuck, you're like, damn. You're like, why couldn't I go back in that dream and finish up what I was doing? Guess what? These women, they have dreams about us that way.